All right, ladies and gents, good morning. Heading off to uh, Lake Gregory today. They put a bunch of trout in last week, so uh, let's see how we do. I got one. GSF eggs. Yeah. Yeah, I got one. Is that a carp? What the hell is that? That's a carp. It's a weird looking carp. and get something else. All right, guys, we pulled up stakes. We're out here at uh, Green Valley. We're on the uh, north side of the lake out by the dam. So we're going to give this a try and uh, hopefully it's better than Gregory. So let's see what happens. fella there you go good looking little fish let's get some more chunky bro There we go. 
go. That feels like a much better one. That Golden State 7D mice tail once again. Said he'd be Meister right in his mouth. Nice little fish. All right, guys, show you the rig I cut the last one on. Got a uh, quarter ounce uh, egg sinker here. Carolina Keeper, about an 18 inch leader. Got a number 10 mosquito hook. And that uh, Sunny D uh, Golden State Mice tail. Let's see if we can get some out. ladies and gents there you have it uh great day out on the water um uh as you can see and like i always say if uh you aren't getting bites gotta move <laughs> um i was at gregory probably for two hours um i uh, just got that one carp it was the only bite i got uh i was working jigs and spoons and i had a couple buddies that were out there uh, walking the lake uh looking for them and they couldn't get into them either uh, so that's why I ended up deciding to, uh, instead of just changing spots there, 
uh, moving over to Green Valley, and I'm uh, uh, glad I did. Um, Green Valley still got a ton of fish, even though they've had their last stock a few weeks ago. Uh, they're fixing to close, I think, October 31st. Halloween is when they officially close. Um, you can still go up there and fish. Uh, it's a public area. You can, you can go up to the lake. Um, they just won't be charging you or anything like that, and you can't rent boats or any of that. But uh, uh, there is an absolute ton of fish in that water. Um, should be good fishing, clear through the month, easy. Um, uh, and I imagine a lot. Of, it's not going to get a lot of pressure. Uh, uh, when I was up there, uh, in fact, at one point, I think at about three, three thirty, I was the only guy in the whole lake. <laughs> <laughs> it was just me by myself, uh, but that was because uh, the people who were there already caught their fish and left. Um, so the the fishing's good up there. Um, it it will be good at Gregory. Um, they're getting another three thousand pounds of fish on the twentieth of October. So just in a couple weeks, um, and the amount of fish that's in Gregory is significant. Uh, they're just being real picky and and, and real uh, finicky right now. Um, but my buddy Bert. Uh, Another Golden State uh, pro staffer went there, I think, the day or two after I did and was fishing in a different spot and slayed them. Uh, they were hitting on jigs and, and RHA spoons, and, and uh, he absolutely slayed them. So uh, just kind of right place, right time uh, kind of thing going on at Gregory. Um, biggest thing there is it's still warm. Uh, the water is probably in the low 70s still. Not enough to, to kill the fish, but they're definitely not happy. Um, so you got to really pick your spots. I would say uh, early morning is the best time to go until things really start cooling off. Like at uh, uh, Green Valley, same same difference. Uh, early morning is the time to get there. I didn't get to Green Valley until close to lunchtime, so it was already pretty warm. Uh, but it's a higher altitude lake, so it's a little bit cooler. Uh, so the water's cooler, so they're, they're a lot more active. And uh, as you can see, or as you probably heard uh, too, if you're following Instagram and stuff, uh, uh, the, the trout there at Green Valley are getting a lot more active. But today, uh, typical uh, bait and weight day. Uh, uh, it's one of those things, you know, that's why I, I try to uh, employ a lot of fishing techniques for the fish because if one thing's not working, I go to something else, you know, and, and so on. Uh, and today they wanted bait, um, uh, which is fine. Uh, whatever gets them to the beach, you know, but uh, uh, I was fishing jigs and spoons, and uh, uh, they just weren't having. I think I got one bump at Green Valley on a on a minnow, uh, but that was it. And I know the fish were there, uh, obviously, because I was catching them on bait. Uh, uh, but yeah, they just weren't having the moving bait uh, while I was while I was fishing for them. So as always, if you want some of those uh, uh, Golden State fishing uh, products I use, like uh, you saw, he's got the new uh, uh, trout eggs that just came out, and. Uh, mice tails for your bait and weight and then of course the minnows and the mini jigs I use. Uh, I'll put the website right here. Uh, make sure you type in code CSPANKER. That's code CSPANKER and you get 10% off your purchase. Um, and if you want any of those RHA spoons I use and have a lot of success with, I'll put the website right here. And uh, he has a discount code as well. It's uh, RHA hooked. That's RHA hooked and you also get 10% off. So that's an awesome deal. So uh, season's starting up. It's time to stock up on some of them baits. And as far as uh, upcoming videos, uh, probably going to go out to Big Bear. They put a bunch of fish in there for the tournament. Um, uh, so there should be good fishing it there. And, and uh, Gregory is still uh, 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 on my radar, especially after they do another stock and the weather cools off a little bit. Should be good to go. And, and then about that time, uh, we should be looking at SoCal trout season once again. So uh, uh, start gearing up. I'll probably do a, a couple of gear videos. Right before, show you all the gear I'm going to be using this season, uh, including uh, I'm going to go through my tackle bag, uh, so you can see exactly what I use and, and what I have and what I carry out with me, including cameras, uh, all that stuff. If you're interested in uh, in filming some of your trips, I'll put it all out there. Uh, so always remember to like and subscribe. Uh, make sure you leave me lots of questions or comments. I love answering them. Uh, hit me up on my Instagram at Spanker Outdoors. It's a good way to get a hold of me as well. And uh, until next time, tight lines.